Coach, if we could just have you make a opening comment about the game. Yeah, it was uh, it was almost exactly the game we expected, uh, just not the ending that we hoped for. Um, two, uh, you know, very good defensive teams. Uh, you know, WPI is a, is a great team, and we knew they were going to be tough defensively, and we thought we could defend them really well too. And it, the game kind of played out like that, and it was a, a battle of uh, possessions with both teams, uh, you know, making some smart and timely offensive plays, and. Um, uh, you know, they just made one more than us, uh, unfortunately, for our side. But, uh, you know, it's uh, uh, hats off to WPI. Uh, great team um, and very well coached. And uh, I'm just so proud of our team. Uh, we've been through a lot this year with uh, COVID stops and starts and uh, then missing people at times and then injuries. And uh, uh, to just – we've got a group of guys that has just kept – battling and believing and uh, believing in each other and it's been it's been so much fun to be a part of and uh, so really really proud of them and uh, and really happy uh, even though I'm uh, sad about the about the finish today. Mason could you talk about just what it was like being out there on the floor the, the battle? It's amazing it's a great opportunity it's the furthest we've made in the tournament in my career and it's where every, everybody wants to be. So every play counts, and you're just working as hard as you can. And unfortunately, we ended up on the wrong side. But like Coach said, we put ourselves in a great position. And it's just a matter of who hits that last shot. Coach, you guys had two back-to-back -back offensive plays to take the lead, kind of reminiscent of the whole game. Yeah, nobody seemed to get yeah, a footing in the game except the early lead you guys had to start. Was it? Was it a true defensive battle, or was it more mistakes by both teams? I felt like a true defensive battle. It was hard to, um, you know, I, I, from, from our end offensively, I thought uh, they just do a great job of making it really hard for you to uh, time up your cuts. We run an uh, offensive lot of cutting and spacing, and, and they make all that really difficult. And so um, it forces you into things that you don't quite want to do, and then you've got to be able to make plays out of that anyway. And, uh, and sometimes we did. And, uh, and that was great. Um, but, uh, but certainly, they, they make it really tough on you. Um, but I thought, I was hoping that uh, those last two offensive plays were, were just enough. And I uh, thought, thought they might be if we could get one more stop. But then, uh, then unfortunately, they made a play. On that defensive play, what did happen? It looked like maybe you guys hadn't seen the play before. Yeah, you know, I think we, j we uh, got just a little overextended and, um, you know, got, got Got beat back door, um, so that was, uh, you know, unfortunate. I think it uh, surprised us a little bit right at that moment. Um, but, uh, you know, it was just a, a really nice cut and a really nice pass and a nice finish. I mean, they're, they're, they're good players that make good plays in those moments. And so, um, yeah. Um, I guess I'll start. Sure. Uh, we drew up to set a high ball screen, and both defenders went low, so we got a kickback. It was an open look, and you know, at the end of the day, you want them all to go in. That one just had it, and then we got another uh, inbounds play, and they, like Coach said, they force you into things you don't exactly want, and sometimes the, the shots just don't fall. Mark, follow up on that. Somewhere? Yeah. The um, you know, I think there was. 15 or 16 seconds left uh, on the last play, so we, we didn't think we had time for a lot of uh, a lot of extra passes. So we're um, kind of right into a fairly quick ball screen to get something going downhill to the hoop. Um, and Dom did a really good job of getting downhill and kind of drawing two guys, kicked it back to Mason, got you know a pretty good look. Um, didn't go in, and then I thought everybody did a great job of going so hard after the offensive rebound, which is one of the things we talked about. We're, no reason to get back and transition defense on that play. Like, all five goes, guys go after it hard. And so, you know, we gave ourselves one more look with not a lot of time on the baseline out of bounds. But uh, I was hoping that late cut from Johnny might go, but the pass was uh, incomplete, unfortunately. But I uh, thought, thought, he, thought he might. Uh, and that was just ad-libbed there at the end. And we were in the play. They kind of covered it. And then he cut hard and uh, thought might get it, but it didn't work out. It, it changed uh, who was where. Um, so uh, yeah, so that was 
you know, we still felt comfortable either way with um, with guys in, in certain spots, but it, it did end up changing that where we, you know, we were going to have one guy come off the ball screen and then uh, he ended up doubled and uh, on the second inbounds. And now, you know, we have sort of guys in different spots, but we still thought we got a pretty good, pretty good downhill drive off of it. Yeah, I, yeah, pretty incredible season. You know, we had a, um, a great season two years ago. We knew we had a number of players back from from that year, and uh, so we thought we had a chance to have a really good season. But we had a whole year away. We had graduated some good people um, from the nineteen twenty team, and uh, and then these guys were, were you know played so well right from the beginning of the season, and and really. Um, it really did a lot of great things, both ends of the court. And then halfway through the season, a series of uh, COVID pause and then injuries, and then we're missing some guys for games. And, uh, you know, we just found a way to give ourselves a shot at, you know, almost every game we played and, uh, and, and won, you know, 23 of them. Uh, so it was, it was great. I can't say enough about, about the senior leadership through all of that to just not let any of it bother us, to just stay focused and, uh, you know, come out and enjoy playing and uh, try to win the next game. Um, what, do, what were your thoughts, Mason? It was a roller coaster ride. There was, uh, it was tough in the beginning coming back from a year off. You know, guys are a little, you know, conditioning wise and trying to get back in the flow. But I think mentally everyone was excited and know that there could be a year off at any point. So it was a little slower start, but we got into it. We, we started winning some games. That always helps getting guys going. And then, you know, I think no matter what, like Coach said, there's injuries, but no matter what five or whoever was playing, everyone was in the game and always gave everything they wanted. And that kind of bring up, brought us together as a team and uh, allowed us to go through ups and downs throughout the season and come down from and come back from being down and being able to play up. And then just very proud of everyone on the team to get this far, the Sweet 16. It's the farthest I've made. It was the farthest uh, RPI basketball has made it before. And it was a great opportunity, and I, I won't give it up for anything.